Greetings and salutations. Well, here we are. I built this superstructure, or actually, unsuperstructure. Um, I don't know if I could hold a whole sheet of, uh, of uh, drywall, but it's holding this. Um, I built this. These boards here, they're two separate boards. I didn't have eight foot boards, which is actually good. By putting these two together, I could vary the length. And what I did is I, I brought one of these boards out here, not quite screwed together, or it was temporarily screwed together with a couple screws. And I put a piece of drywall and a one by four in between until I got it to where it was snug in the hole there. So the idea is I can slide the drywall in and then after I slide the drywall in, um, once I get it in place, then the one by fours will go on between the frame here and the drywall and will lift it right into the hole. And that's the only way I could see of doing this by myself without buying a lift or renting a lifter. I built one myself. Uh, it's very crude, very rudimentary, but it's all made of wood. I didn't even have to cut it. I happen to have the right sizes just lying around or close enough that I could make it work. And uh, I just screwed boards I already had lying around. I did very little cutting because I want to reuse these. I keep reusing this wood until it's not usable anymore. And as you can see, this is already used wood and it's not the great, greatest quality. But for building something like this, it's perfect. So yeah, that's the story. If you've got some crap wood lying around, you could at least build frames and stuff. Yeah, you could see this is wobbly. But it seems to be holding this so far. That's the only thing it has to do. As long as it doesn't fall down, I don't care if it wobbles a little bit. It's, it's just enough to give me the hand I need to finish my job. So let's see if I can get this in place now. Oh, this is not light. I need to start lifting weights because this is pretty darn heavy. And this is, this is only a partial sheet too. This is only, this, this particular one, it's only three, three by four. And our typical sheet is eight by four, so this is less than half the weight of one sheet, and it is heavy on its own. Okay. What I did is I put the the side that was already cut. I mean, that was the end, so I didn't have to cut it over on this side which will be where we have to make it work. Um, the other side, that's going to be in the, on the edge there already, and I have edge work and other things to put in place to keep it from, uh, to keep it from being, uh, what do you call it? To keep it from looking bad. I have some plastic edging that you can, we can put in place, so that's going to make it awesome. Okay. I've already put this up here once, so if it actually fits this time, it is not a miracle. It is lots of planning. A lot went in before I, before I came, before I started videotaping, came, started videotaping this. So if this works, it's, it's only because I've already put a lot of work into it, if it works. And it, <laughs> doesn't look like it's going to yet. Well, this is far off. Why is that not going in place? Oh, wow, that's a good sign. That's a very good sign. That didn't happen last time. And we want this to be as tight as possible so that when we actually put it in we don't have to work so hard on the joining now this it's four feet across the reason I cut the hole the way I did was it just happened to make it to the last beam here at four feet which is perfect because we want it oh I want it to fit we're within 
half an inch or a quarter of an inch or an eighth of an inch. We are so close. We are so close to making it work. I mean, it is so close. Yeah, this is where it would be advantageous to have another person. Of course, I don't have another person, so I gotta figure out how to do all of this on my own. Uh, and it's not easy. It's challenging, but it makes it that much more rewarding when it actually works. If it actually works. I don't know if it's going to fit in there or not. I'm going to have to probably tap it with a hammer. Ah, uh, we'll see. I'll get a persuader out in a minute here. or am I just making holes? Okay, I have an idea. I have an idea. I mean... Yeah, I'm going to have to leave the room, so I'm going to pause this video. Okay, we're back. A little bit of work in the background, and I think we've got it. So, all we got to do is I'm going to put some 1x4s in between because I got it to sit in there. It came popping out again after a minute. There. Now, I'm going to put the other 1x4s in and that will hold this piece in while I screw it down. So all of that work is culminating. Sorry, I have my back teeth. All that work is culminating into this. All that prep work I did there should be another one of these lying around. What did... Did I drag it back outside? I don't know. Well, until then, I'm just going to get this one. What's cool is you just wedge it in. Like... Like, hopefully so. Well, not quite. One way or the other here. There we go, and it's, it's almost in place. I mean, it's within wiggle room. Hopefully the screws will be enough to keep it in to get it the rest of the way in. But we did it. I got to do, I got to get another brace in here on this side. For some reason I had two here, but one must have made it back into the garage somehow. Who knows? Um, temporarily. I'm just going to take my other pieces here and I can get I can get a I want to do it better than this but it's a start the more bracing I have the tighter it's going to be and the easier it's going to be to screw it in place without it this is loose. Well, I had a feeling this side was a little bit. That's not. Well, it's already in, kind of there, anyway. So let's see if it's any better halfway through here. No, that's okay. Um, but like I said, I've already got it most of the way done. I got to do is put another brace in, and then I can start screwing it into the ceiling, and this piece will be done. Okay, so the next part, uh, once I get this screwed in place, then I got to work on the other side, the other hole. And when I get that one done, then I'm going to disassemble this 
and I'll be back with another video, another part of the video, to uh, uh, so that you can see me doing the finish work. So the joint tape I got left after I get this in place is joint tape and texturing. And that's going to be a lot of work. And I've never done texturing before, but I've learned a lot from friends and family and peoples and stuff. So I'm looking forward to learning it and getting it in. But this is fitting. This is actually being held in by the wall. And the, the, my braces are doing the rest of it. So we're there. This side probably should have gone up another eighth of an inch or so. I think this one is the low spot for some reason. And I could fix that by loosening this up and shoving that up higher. But I might just do that just for giggles. Yeah, I might I might loosen this board up and then uh, make it make it higher, T tighten it up just a slight amount, so that this is actually resting nicely instead of because this side is compared to the rest of the frame. This is, this corner is low for some reason. So yeah, I'm gonna do that next. So when we come back, we should have firewall in the whole entire ceiling. This will be gone. Now I'm going to reuse this thing. The coolest thing about this is I'm going to reuse this to practice texturing. I'm going to put a piece of uh, cardboard or whatever, and I'm going to use my sprayer and spray before I start spraying in here. I'm going to spray outside on a piece of cardboard and see how that works and see adjust it until I get to a point where I'm happy with it. Then I can start working in here with my texturing. First, of course, I got to do the joint tape, which yeah, that'll be fun. Not fun at all, but maybe it will. Who knows? Okay, then. Live long and prosper, Nanu Nanu. Thank you for watching.